obviously this being my third one, like it's like, it's so surreal. It's a process and it's a stressful process. And um, there's just so much relief, you know, knowing that you've made the team and just representing your country too on a world stage. And that stage has brought Maggie the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. In the 2014 Sochi Games, Maggie injured her ankle during practice and wasn't able to compete. While in 2018 in Pyeongchang, she nearly missed the podium. But none of that could prepare her for January of last year, when she experienced a new layer of heartbreak she didn't know existed. Almost a year ago on January 23rd last year, um, my brother took his own life unexpectedly, which obviously was just the most devastating thing that's ever happened to my family ever in my life, obviously experienced anything like that or death that close to me, especially in that way. And it rocked my world more than I think I ever let people know. Um, but I just, I felt it in my performance and I ended up only competing once last year just cause I mean, I'm, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I tried to go to multiple events and just had breakdowns. But then, almost a year later, she began her breakthrough. Once Maggie found out she qualified for the 2022 Olympics in Beijing, her head and her heart immediately went to Michael. Honestly, like immediately, I think about him every day. And um, when I ski, I wear, he was in the army, I wear his dog tag. Um, and I don't really wear it anytime unless I'm really like competing. How has this changed you as a person and an athlete? It's tough. I mean, I, I just feel like I look at life in a totally different lens. I wake up and I feel like I'm more present. You know, I want to be a better human. And I, you know, it's, it's true. Life is so short. And I feel like I have this one shot to just be, be me and do the best and achieve my goals and be the best human that I possibly can. And it's really made this Olympic process like just, I, I mean, I feel like so much more special. Suicide rates are at an all-time high. You and your family have been through so much. What do you want people to know from Michael's story? I just want to raise awareness and, and let people know that, you know, it's not weak. It is not weak to speak up and ask for help and that you are enough. And that when you're like, if you're struggling, you can get through this. You know, it doesn't have to be forever. And I think if I can help raise awareness and, you know, just by sharing this story to let you know, you're not weak. You are not weak. Asking for help takes a lot of strength. What do you want people to know how Michael lived his life? It was really the human that he was in the heart that he had. I mean, there is no one like my brother, Michael. I mean, he was just such, such an incredible human. And I, you know, I strive every day to be half the human that he was. Reporting in Whitefish, Alexa Castro, MTN Sports.